this video talks about heart sounds and splitting of heart sounds. Um, so in a heart, whenever we hear a sound, it's because a valve is closing. It's like doors closing. Every time you close a door, you should hear valves closing. But that's only in a normal heart. In a pathological heart, we hear sounds which is not related to only valves closing. But let's focus on a normal heart for now. So let's say when your tricuspid closes, you should hear a sound. When your bicuspid closes, you should hear a sound. When your aorta closes, you should hear a sound. And when your pulmonary closes, you should hear a sound, right? So I can say that S1 is a combination sound of the tricuspid and pulmonary. And S2 is a combination of sound between aortic and pulmonary. Not between, like the timing of aortic and pulmonary is S2 and the timing of uh, tricuspid and mitral closing is going to be S1. So those are the sounds, right, when they close together. Now, what happens is, what's interesting here is, aortic and pulmonary don't really close at the same time. There's a really, really tiny gap between the two. And in a normal heart, we usually don't see it because the timing is so close. But in a pathological state or in other situations where you're exacerbating a situation where they cannot close at the same time, you actually hear uh, the difference. You know, they, they're closing at different times. You actually hear it. And that's what we really call split, right? Okay, so S1 is really a combination of mitral and tricuspid closing, right? And S2 is really aortic and pulmonary closing, right? So our focus is really S2, not uh, S1. So we're just going to treat S1 as S1. S2, we have divided this into A2 and P2 here. Okay, so now let's say this is a normal heart. And let's say this is your S1 sound. This is your A2 sound and this is your P2 sound. By the way, x-axis treat it as, uh, as a timeline, you know, that means the difference between S1 and S2, the time is this much. The difference between A2 and P2 and time is this much. This is in a normal heart when you're expiring. But let's say you're inspiring. By the way, why does pulmonary close after aorta? Pulmonary close after aorta because the pressure in the aorta is much higher than the pulmonary. So the tendency of valves closing before pulmonary is going to be higher. So that's why aorta closes before pulmonary. But this situation can be reversed if the pressure in the pulmonary is going to be higher. You, you can see that, right? That the situation can be re reversed. But let's, we're not talking about that now. We're talking about uh, what we're going to see in a normal patient during inspiration. So during inspiration, what you're, what you're doing is you are filling your heart with blood. So as you're filling your heart with blood, okay, you know, I mean, blood is pooling onto the right side of the heart, right ventricle, okay, and, uh, and because of inspiration, this is, uh, you know, because the lungs needs more, uh, more blood flow, the lung is creating a vacuum, right, which is causing the right side of the heart filling in more than a normal situation. So I'm talking about inspiration when you take a, you know, a deeper breath for inspiring, okay? So, um, so what happens is the pulmonary valves cannot really close, right? The pulmonary valves re really cannot close until the blood flow to the lung is finished. So Compared to an expiration, inspiration, the pulmonary valve is going to close later because the door is open longer, right? Imagine that this is the door, and since the lung is creating a vacuum while the blood is flowing through the pulmonary to the lungs, so since the door is open longer, P2 is going to go on for a longer amount of time, right? As a result, what we're going to hear is S1 is going to, you know, it's going to be at the same time. A2, we are going to be hear, hearing at the same time as well. But P2 is going to be much further down the timeline. So the distance between A2 and P2 has really increased. And this has increased because of inspiration. So this kind of, um, this kind of situation where due to inspiration, your P2 is closing at a later time, you are creating a gap which is now 
um, audible. In, you know, you can actually hear the split. So that's when you hear a split. So now we can say that inspiration is really causing the difference in the split and we can actually hear the splitting, the heart splitting during a normal inspiration. So this is a normal, normal state. It should not happen all the time. You should only hear it when you're taking deep, deep breaths. You can only should hear the split when you're taking deep breaths. If you're hearing in a normal time, that is pathological and that is not normal. You should not hear it in normal heart sounds, in a normal breathing pattern. So now let's talk about wide split. What does wide split really mean? So again, we're dealing with S1 here. Okay, S1 is going to be here. Let's say A2 was here. And in a normal state, let's say P2 is here. And obviously, we're talking about expiration P2. Let's say this was normal. Okay, what's going to happen with wide split is that the P2 is going to move in here further from the normal one. P2 is going to move. Okay, and this is going to happen in an in inspiration as well. So S1 is going to be in the same position, A2 is going to be in the same position, P2 is going to be even further. So yes, it is wide split, but the expiration and inspiration, the inspiration will have a longer split than the expiration, but even expiration is going to have a longer time lapse, okay? So this is a wide split. So why should we have a wide split? We have a wide split for two different situations. Either it's a pulmonary stenosis, okay? Pulmonary stenosis can cause wide split. I mean, and we also hear wide split in right bundle branch block. That is classic for wide split, okay? So what happens is in right bundle branch block, you know, the heart is not completely functional on the right side and they're not getting the impulse as faster as the left side. As a result, there is going to be slower closing of the pulmonic valve causing the wide split. Now the next thing I want to talk about is fixed split. See, I wanted to talk about wide split before I talk about fixed lips. Fixed split is because, you know, see how this is this changes with inspiration and expiration. That's why this is not fixed split. If this was constant, constantly both inspiration and expiration was the same spot like so, then we would have called it fixed split. So let's look at it. So again, let's draw the normal. We have S1 here for inspiration. We have A2 here for inspiration and expiration. And let's say the normal should have been like that. Okay, let's say the normal of inspiration and expiration, but instead we are having like so. See the distance between the A2 and the P2 is the same as inspiration and in expiration. So this kind of state is the fixed split. So when do we see fixed split? We see fixed split when we are talking about ASD. And why is that? Because there is a constant amount of blood flow coming from the left side to the heart side. The same amount every time. And the, and the factors that is affecting the right atrium, sorry, the left atrium is also affecting the right atrium. So if there is a change in inspiration, that will also affect the left atrium because they, they're directly connected. If pulmonary wants more oxygen, more blood is going to come from the left to the right side. So factors that affect the left side is going to affect the right side immediately because of this you know, little doorway here, right? So that's why we see fixed split here. But even then, now you might be asked, asking me, then why isn't, if the pressure is kind of equalizing, then why aortic and the pulmonary is not clo closing at the same time? I want to correct you in your thought that the pressure is not equalizing. It's just that the factors affecting the left side of the heart and the factor affecting the, the right side of the heart is kind of compensated equally at the same time. There is no time lag because of that little doorway that has been made. So last of all, I want to talk about paradoxical split. So whenever we say paradoxical, it means that there is a switch, you know, the, there is a switch of something. So what it means is that the S1 is going to be at the same time. Instead of A2 being first, we're going to have P2 first and then A2. That's why it's paradoxical. And what happens is during expiration, let's say P2 is here and let's say A2 is here, 
during inspiration what's going to happen is and let's say normal is let's say here okay uh, the P2 would have been here by the way S1 would have been here in inspiration P2 would be here and A2 would be let's say here see how there is a difference between expiration and inspiration the difference is longer than the normal which was right here but there is a difference and the difference between be, became longer in expiration than inspiration which was just the opposite of what we have been seeing so it's paradoxical in every sense this we see in uh, aortic stenosis and left bundle branch block okay so now I'll attempt to explain why this happens. So what happens in aortic stenosis or for any stenosis, stenosis of any valve? You know, the valve becomes thickened, okay? And doing anything with the valve is becoming hard. He, it's like a stiff. It's, it's a stiff, you know, a stiff person. Uh, they, you know, it's so hard to work with them. They're not flexible. These valves also become very, very stiff and they don't want to work with you. They want to give you a hard time, right? So anytime they have to close or open it will take them longer so let's say in case of expiration okay the heart is let's say you know feeling less than the inspiration so the pulmonic closes okay the pulmonic closes because heart feeling is uh, done and but the aortic wants to close but it's taking longer. It's getting the signal, but moving those stiff valves to close is taking a tad bit longer. So the same thing happens in inspiration. You know, again, in inspiration, the, the gap becomes a little smaller. It's because the heart is filled and the valves want to close faster than the pulmonary ones.